Hello again, everybody. This is Derek from ScreamingEagleAirsoft.com. Yes, that's ScreamingEagleAirsoft.com. You can go to ScreamingEagleAirsoft.com and find this gun as well as others for your airsoft needs. Now, today we're actually doing a review on the A&K Dragonoff sniper rifle. This um, sniper rifle is really long, as you can see. It is... Um, so long, it doesn't even fit on the camera. I have to step back. Okay, normally I do my reviews from right here and have no problem. Um, now let's talk about this gun before we get into the various details. First of all, um, it is built solid and it looks good. Um, it is mostly metal. There are some uh, synthetic parts right here and the stock is synthetic, but everything else is metal. Okay, you have a uh, leather cheek rest right here, which can be removed just by popping this metal release right there and taking it off. If for whatever reason you do not need your cheek to be elevated like that, you can take that piece right on off. It is metal and leather, might be Naga hide. You have a sling mount right here where you can mount this gun's sling and it can sling out this side, okay, and hook all the way up to the front sling mount, which is right there, okay. Um, it has a covered front sight post. It has, uh, you know, the fake gas tube right here, flash suppressor. Now on the, fl on the flash suppressor, the front part of the flash suppressor has been painted orange. Trigger, very light trigger. Let's go to the magazine. The magazine is a mid cap magazine. Um, you, high cap magazines are available, but right now this is a, it comes with a mid cap magazine. Um, I will have to let you know that I did have to elevate this all the way up to like, 12, I'm going to bring it back down to 11, actually that's this 10 setting. Uh, okay, without the cheek pad, I can actually see behind the sight. With the cheek pad, I couldn't hardly see. Okay, I'm going to bring it down to where I wanted it. I wanted it on 6. Okay, let's put it on 6. Yeah, okay, I can cheek. Um, if I do not have a mask on I can cheek. If I had a mask on I would find it very hard to see through the iron sights. Okay, it has your safe and fire selector lever right there. You have um, your breakdown lever right there. And other than that, it's just cool as hell. It looks like it has a bayonet lug right there. If you had a Russian bayonet, you could put it on your sniper rifle. That's crazy. You're going to go bayoneting someone with a sniper rifle. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, load the magazine up with a few BBs. I think I'm going to put some 20s in, and then I'm going to put some 25s in. We're going to chrono it with both. And then I'm going to shoot it um, at that dish back there behind me. Uh, we'll see what we get out of this thing. Okay, I'm going to put the cheek pad back on. No, let's look in the box. Okay, now this is a plain brown box. Uh, it says B and W, black and white airsoft right here, but it's A and K is the uh, label it comes under, and it gives you a little history of the Dragonoff sniper rifle right there and the actual full name of it. Now, when we open it up, you're going to see that it comes with some plastic. Now I took it out of the plastic to show you a little bit a while ago with my uh, on my review. Now if you look it only comes with some white styrofoam holds it in good nice and secure. It comes with a little ad on what you know like you can get the wood kits or you can get scopes or high cap magazines or whatever. It comes with like a little flyer that shows you some of that good stuff. And then it comes with your black and white uh, manual. Operator's instruction manual. It tells you how to cock it, how to shoot it, how to load the BBs, and how to hook a scope mount onto the side of the gun. 
All right, now let's pull it out. And I mean, that's all it comes with. All right, I loaded some 20s. Now we're gonna chrono it and we're gonna see how it does. All right, now we've got some 20s loaded in this magazine. And before you can cock it, you need to put it on fire or it will not cock. It'll actually like give you a half cock and maybe double feed your BBs. So put it on fire, then cock it, and then shoot it. 491. 495. 496. 501. Okay, and then it's out. Okay, now when your magazine is empty, just like an AEG, there will be a couple of BBs to fall out because the feed tube is about two BBs long. All right, I've got some 25s loaded, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna see what they, what kind of a difference they give off in the gun. 437. 452 with a 25. 450. Okay, now what I was wanting to look at was the jewels. Oh wow, 235. 235 is the jewels. All right, now let's pull this back some and shoot at a target. All right, now I've loaded up some 28s and we're gonna shoot that at the dish right over there. And let's see what we get. All right, here we go. Can you see this? Yeah, I guess you can. Right underneath. Hit. Ooh, that went a little bit off to the right. That was a hit. Ooh, right in the dark spot. I'm gonna zoom in here after this shot. Hit. That was two hits. Oh, so close. Hit. I don't know how many shots I got left. A little bit off to the left. Oh, and we're empty. All right, well, you got to see me shoot at the target uh, at about 100 feet. And I'm using, I was using .28 to shoot. Uh, the hop-up looks like it's actually inside the bolt. When you open it up, it looks like the hop-up mechanism is right there. You would need an Allen wrench to get to it and adjust it. Um, the uh, accuracy seems pretty good. Um, but I do want to say that after shooting this for the review process that I was filming, you know, I've shot a few to kind of see where it was going, and then I shot some on camera. I shot some through the uh, chrono, and I did it. I just just plinking around. I'm gonna tell you, man, this spring, cocking this thing back, because what I do is I have it on my shoulder, and then I grab it right here, and I'm pulling it back. Man, that gives your arm a workout. This would not be uh, suitable for a young child. Uh, I would say. This gun is definitely for someone with some... Now, I'm not saying I'm the strongest dude in the world, you know, boom! But I'm telling you, it took, you know, I can cock it back, but dang, after like all day today, I'm sitting around going, dang, my arm is sore. Whew! So, you know, you might have like this really right, super right strong arm, and then your left isn't going to be as strong. So, uh, and it's not ambidextrous. You can't cock it, you know, like this. So, um... That's my concern about this gun, is the fact that it's really strong. You might want to consider the AEG version of this, even though I think the FPS is a little bit lower. Um, all right, well, that was the Dragon, a and Dragon Off, and, and that's a dog. Maybe I should shoot it. No, I'm not going to do that. Um, 
Thanks for coming out and checking out this review. And remember guys, whenever you're on the airsoft field, 